Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for December 10 through to December 14. A powerful coronal hole formation located just above this centre represents a potential of a 6.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and we see that over the last 30 hours the arrival of a weak coronal mass ejection has impacted the Earth's magnetic field. This saw solar wind speeds move from a low 280 to 320 km a second and also a strong increase was shown in solar wind density moving to 9 protons per cubic centimetre which is at fairly high levels. Now I'm expecting over the next 24 to 48 hours a strong increase in solar winds due to the arrival of a high speed solar wind stream from the ideally placed coronal hole formation that's located at this centre. We're now looking at an animated view of the coronal hole formation using the Solar Terrestrial Activity Report via Solar.info and we get to see that CH487 located just above this centre may represent a risk for a 6.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. There's also a newly formed coronal hole deep down in the southern hemisphere which is also worth noting and has formed over the last 24 hours. Now looking at the Hinode XRT with Solar Monitor and focusing on this coronal hole formation it stretches from 6 to 15 degrees north latitude. Now the main area of focus that I've isolated is 6 to 9 degrees north latitude or the southern flank of this coronal hole formation. We're now looking at the SDI moving imagery and focusing on this coronal hole formation and looking for significant movement and the majority of the movement is coming from the southern portion of this coronal hole and even a fissure appearing stretching down towards the equator. But I'll focus on this region 6 to 9 degrees south latitude as the main area that I'm focusing on for this watch. I'm now going to plot and map some regions I feel may be at risk for a significant earthquake based on solar symmetry and this coronal hole formation. And I've targeted the region of Central America as the most likely area that may receive this earthquake as the Cocos and Caribbean plates have been extremely active in terms of earthquake activity over the last few weeks. And my number one area of concern for 6 to 9 degrees north latitude after the region south of Panama stretching up towards the Costa Rican and Panama borders. This will be my number one area of concern for this watch. And my second area of concern is for the north portion of the Salabas Sea. And this is stretching up towards the Mora Gulf region, Philippines, Mindanao, Philippines, and as high as the Negros region in Philippines. This will be the second area of concern as best mapped to Earth and Sun. And my third and final area of concern for this coronal hole formation is the Nicobar Islands, Indian region. We're now looking at the 193 Angstrom with Solar Monitor and focusing on the Southern Hemisphere. Now there is a small fissure that's opened up deep down the southern hemisphere which extends 44 to 47 degrees south latitude which may produce a 5.5 earthquake. I have targeted off the west coast of the South Island New Zealand as the most likely area that may receive a 5.1 to 5.5 magnitude earthquake in the time frame of December 11 or 12. Now there is a possibility that Christchurch may receive this event as it's situated at 44 degrees south latitude. But I do feel that the most symmetry is the southwestern corner of New Zealand or the Alpine Fault Line or off the west coast region of New Zealand. And my second and final area of concern is for the region of Ace in Chile, but more specifically the volcano Sierra Hudson falls in this latitude zone and definitely worth keeping a close notice of. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that could be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures and the areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. The main concentrations for this week are showing up in Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, Samoa and Tonga, Queensland Australia and Western Australia, the South Indian Ocean and Namibia. There's also reading showing up in France and Germany and also in Japan has a strong reading but the main concentration is centered in around Luzon, Philippines but this may be associated with high levels of precipitation. We're now looking at some strong readings of 16 showing up in the real-time ionospheric map with the main concentrations in southwestern Indonesia and also Yunnan, China stretching towards the top flank of India. This will be worth keeping a close notice of as these strong readings have been associated with volcanic eruptions and also strong earthquakes. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for December 9, 2011. For more up-to-date earthquake information, please subscribe to EQ Reporter or also visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.